I got a Bahama Mama, added cranberry, fat burner, energizer, multivitamin, and kiwi, acai bowl with, uh, you want it mangoes, instead of the blueberries, because we're out of that one, a pomegranate one, hummus wrap with no ranch, no tomatoes, with baked glaze, is that correct? Um, yeah, that's right. All right, 3884 will be your total. Thank oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Today is March the 20th. It's supposed to be the first day of spring. It's actually a chill day for me today. I'm not doing anything, y'all. I'm so disappointed that this yard looks the way it looks. I want to go out here and rake because we got some fertilizer right here, but it's like the yard is being overtaken by fucking weeds. Like, y'all see all these damn weeds? Like, they all over the yard. Some of them have gotten so bold growing over here that... Look at all these fucking bugs because of the damn weeds. Some of these weeds have gotten so bold that they actually have grown into, like, full big-ass plants. And they just, like, sucking up all the nutrients from the goddamn grass. But, y'all, today has just been, like, a really chill day. I'm not really doing much today if y'all give a damn but i'm not doing much today i'm just going to be inside um probably editing like a couple videos because i do have like two or three videos to edit today and then i want to do like a what i eat in a day and then i also want to do like a workout routine for y'all so y'all can see because i told y'all before like i need to lose some weight it may not look like it to anybody else but to me I used to be able to fit a size six jeans. Now I'm in like a size eight, nine, and I don't like that. I want to get back to my size six, my five, six. I like to be small and petite. I don't like to be big and thick or whatever everybody call it. Like I like to be small and petite. That's my preference. But I'm probably going to show y'all like a workout routine, like what I do to lose weight, what I eat to lose weight, like my basic workout. And it's not even hard or a lot because I'm not a person that's going to be going super hard with working out. That's just not realistic for me. So, yeah, I'm going to record a video of that this week. And hello. And I just... Yeah, oh, um, I thought you were going to make a drink. You, yeah, I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm actually finna record me making my smoothie because I'm gonna make a blue smoothie and then I'll make you the smoothie that you normally like. I want sugar back in Well, I'll put sugar in it this time. But. Um, what are you putting in the Yours? Yeah. Probably strawberry, blueberry, banana, avocado, the coconut milk. The sugar, <laughs> you scared of the neem powder. Yeah. Um, well, that's really gonna be it. And then like the smooth, the smoothie. Um, I'm gonna put the the smoothie powder in there. You want strawberry, banana, or chocolate? No, I don't want that. I know you hate chocolate, but strawberry or banana then. Yeah, I just put strawberry. 
Well, I'm gonna be ready to make a smoothie. I'm gonna show y'all how I make my blue smoothie. I'm not gonna show y'all how I make my husband smoothie because I showed that the last time. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make my blue smoothie. So yeah, let me do that real quick. So y'all, I forgot to show y'all my acai bowl that I had got from Tropical Smoothie. I saw a lot of people getting like acai bowls from there. They were out of blueberries, so she asked me what I wanted to supplement it with. So I had got mangoes instead, but I have banana, strawberry, mango, um, coconut shavings, um, chia seeds, the acai. This shit was like $7, $8, I don't know, um, one of those two, but I did have like reward points because I used to go to Tropical Smoothie so much that I built up so many points. So. I'm glad I did not have to pay full price for this, but like this is the acai bowl. I actually could have made me one at home, but I just got it because like I said, I had points built up, so I was able to like get it for free, um, get a free acai bowl. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this, probably taste it on camera because I don't know, like I could have made my own acai bowl at home but it was free, so I just got it. But yeah, let's see how this tastes. Um, mm. 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 It's actually pretty good. Mm. Mm. It's cold, but it's good. The mangoes are sweet and stuff, so. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. 10 out of 10 tropical smoothie because y'all know sometimes when y'all get acai bowls from places and they don't even be tasting that good especially for the price but this one is pretty good and it has granola in it so mm, i'm happy with it got a bahama mama but my bahama mama y'all i always add Cranberry, fat burner, energizer, multivitamin, and kiwi. Sometimes I add extra stuff to it, but I didn't today. I just added those, but I really, really enjoy the fat burner because I'm going to tell y'all the truth. When I used to be on my healthy kick, my soup, smoothie, salad diet, I lost so much fucking weight within like, I'm not even going to say... I'll just say within 30 days. Within 30 days, I think I lost probably like 10 pounds just staying on my soup, salad, and smoothie diet. And that's what I'm about to get back on because I have been wilding out a lot lately. Like being that we haven't we haven't had a car or whatever. Close the freezer. I just finished making my husband's smoothie. But being that we hadn't had a car in a while. I basically was like ordering Uber Eats a lot and, you know, not really cooking at home, just ordering Uber Eats and getting stuff out or whatever. And in turn, I kind of got off my healthy diet because I did lose a lot of weight. Now, I will say with me, I do notice that when I gain weight, I gain weight in my boobs, my arms, my thighs and my stomach. I never gain weight in my ass, which is where the weight needs to go at. But I do not gain weight in my ass. I always gain it in those areas that I just mentioned. So I'm going to get back on my diet of just like having my smoothies. I'll probably be making smoothies at home because it is expensive to get smoothies out and I'm on a budget. So I will be making smoothies at home. But because I had the points, I went ahead and got me a smoothie. I got me a acai bowl and I got me a hummus wrap. But that's what I used to always order when I was going out and having myself like on my diet and my kick, and then I would get my soups or whatever, or I would make my soups, probably make like my broccoli and avocado soups. Or if I got soups out, I would get one from Olive Garden because you guys know they have like the soup and salad. So I would get like the gnocchi soup or gnocchi soup. I don't know how you pronounce it. I would get that with like the salad on the side and stuff like that. And that's all I would really eat. I wouldn't really eat too much solid foods or like the wings from Wingstop or the McDonald's. I wasn't eating all of that stuff. The sodas, I wasn't drinking that stuff. I was drinking mostly water and smoothies to lose the weight that I lost within like a 30 day period. And then I was also taking my vitamin supplements that I was mixing up myself, my time to detox, my neem powders, all of those things I was mixing up and taking myself. So I'm going to get back to that. I'm actually going to um, get me some neem powder now because my pantry, y'all, my pantry is 
a mess as always. So I'm going to get my neem powder, which is right here. And I'm going to probably um, take some of this. I don't have any more capsules, so I probably will have to like just sprinkle it over top of this acai bowl that I'm eating and just take it raw like that. But like, I'm gonna get back on my kick because I do want to fit back into my size six jeans again. My size five, my size six, like I said, I like to be petite and small. I don't really care for big hips and all of that stuff. I do wanna get a BBL one day, but just to kind of like fill in the areas that are disproportionate, but not to get anything like big and enhanced to be walking around with an ant ass. Like I'm not trying to look like a queen ant, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to fill in the natural stuff that I already have and that's the type of BBL that I want. And I believe that those are called like petite BBL. So if I do get one, that's what it's going to be. I'm not going to get like a, a normal, the normal BBLs where everybody's rocking around with these big atrocious asses. Like that's just too much for me. So yeah, I enjoy being small and petite or whatever. And that's what I'm going to try to get back to. I do notice, um, I don't know if y'all are like this too or anybody else is like this. I do notice that when I do lose weight, I will lose the weight in the same areas that I gain the weight in. My boobs, my arms, my thighs, and then somewhat my stomach. Not mostly my stomach, but somewhat my stomach, but mostly my boobs. And when I lose the weight in my boobs, it tends to like literally deflate my boobs. And I, I just, I don't know y'all. Like I, I probably will need like a breast lift or whatever because I am... 36 encroaching on 40 so i probably will need a breast lift soon so i plan on getting that as well when i do get my petite bbl and i'm going to get um ab etching i want to get that so those are the things that i want to accomplish if you are a doctor or a surgeon out here and you want to sponsor me and show your work by all means please contact me in the comments my email is listed in the description okay but anyways y'all yeah let me go ahead and um, finish my acai bowl and my smoothie or whatever and then that's probably going to be it for this afternoon because I really don't have much going on today. I don't have anything planned that I'm going to be doing except for just chilling, probably editing for the rest of the day. Um, don't have any orders. Um, I did have somebody contact me and say that their order says it was delivered but they didn't get it so they were asking for a refund. And I'm just like, unfortunately, I'm not responsible for refunds like when your order is delivered. Like, I want to help you, but I'm not going to give you a refund when it says it was delivered. For for all I know, you could have gotten it and you're just saying that you didn't. So, I'm sorry. But anyways, y'all need to be watching y'all mail and contacting y'all post office if y'all feel like people are stealing y'all mail. Because um, that's maybe like the second or third person that I've gotten um, but between this week and last week that are saying like, oh, my package says it was delivered, but I didn't get it. Y'all, when it says it's delivered, I can't give you a refund when it says it's delivered. I can understand if you never got it and it's still in transit or something like that. But if it says it's delivered to the address that you provided me with, I can't give you a refund for that because it's like, I don't know if you got it or not. And you're just saying that you didn't. I'm not saying anybody is doing that but i'm just saying like that's that's the position that i'm in so if i'm refunding you or refunding every person that says oh i didn't get it but when i check the tracking or i contact the post office it says it's delivered like that's basically putting me out of money so yeah but anyways y'all i'm gonna go ahead and do that finish it probably i'm gonna probably roll my hair in some flexi rods tonight just so i can have like a nice cute curl and that's probably it and then i'm gonna go and straighten my office room up because my office room is like a mess right now mm. i'm gonna show y'all let me show y'all so i mean it's not that much of a mess but i got hair right there my um styling tools my lunch that i'm gonna finish my makeup bag my chair is out of whack and then like you know i just got my stuff on the shelf or whatever and then this is my second or third empty bottle of my ocean vodka y'all see i love that when i rock with with a drink i rock with a drink but like i just put this bottle in here to decorate the shelf or whatever and it's just kind of 
I just don't want my area to get out of place any um, again like it was before. So I am going to come in here and straighten up and I got a soda on the floor. This guy actually gave me the soda for free the other day when I went through the drive through line at the Pizza Hut. He was like, Here, a soda. He could, here's a soda on the house just because he liked the car or I don't know if he was flirting or what the case may be. But however, I got a free orange soda to match my car. And so that's why that is there. And I appreciate you, sir. I really do. I didn't have to pay almost $3 for a soda that was probably worth a dollar. So um, anyways, y'all, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get situated today um, and just chill out for the rest of the day. And then I'll probably see y'all a little bit later. I don't want my vlogs to be those vlogs where I'm just like, I'll see y'all later and I'm just popping in just to show y'all little events here and there. Like, I just feel like they're so boring and so fake and i just i just i don't know y'all i'll i'll get better with vlogging as i continue to go on and then once i get better equipment because i do want to get a new camera i'm really getting tired of vlogging on my phone i want to just use my phone for videos for like um because i really don't even post on instagram like that anymore i'm surprised i still have the three thousand or so followers that i have but i want to start like using my phone just for like instagram content tiktok content and then i heard that they passed the law to ban tiktok i don't know what do y'all feel about that because i feel like the only reason the united states wants to ban tiktok is because it's a platform that they can't control and control the narrative on because a lot of the times they're able to control the narrative and control who gets seen and who says what just like they do with facebook and instagram and um in, uh, you know facebook instagram and the other platform that i think they're over youtube they even do that with youtube at times where they try to control the narrative of what's being said and what type of content is put out there so i think that's the only reason that they want to ban tiktok but i haven't really posted too many tiktoks um or in on instagram either in a while so y'all let me know what y'all think about that tiktok ban how do y'all feel about that if y'all use that platform but anyways yeah, y'all, enough rambling, enough chatting. I'm going to go ahead and go so I can be able to eat this acai bowl before it melts. And I'll probably see y'all a little bit later because I'm going to go ahead and take my neem powder and get me some energy and just get myself together. And I may end up taking a nap. So I'll see y'all probably a little later. If not later, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey, y'all. So we had to come to the DMV today. It's rainy and nasty. It's a million people inside here and they damn machines don't work. So we finna be in here for a long time. Where's your ticket at? I forgot. Did I give it to you? Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. Anyways, sitting here waiting to be called while this girl is chewing on her fingers and hair. Yeah. Tell me to stop recording in here, but anyways, I want to show where we're at. This is what I have on my hey dudes, my jeans, my polka dot shirt, and my orange jacket for my mother in law. Yes, okay. Anyways, I will check back in a little bit later. Hey y'all, so I made it back home from the DMV. It was so nasty there and it's so crazy because we had to end up rescheduling. We sat there for like an hour just to get up there and they were like, oh, our computer. My camera died. My husband is trying to get the lawnmower to crank for me because I'm about to attempt to cut the yard. By myself. Yeah, this ain't where you cut a line. This this motherfucker nigga rig, cause the boy broke it. <laughs> Shit, like you did everything else. You be a good line, mo. But now we got a nigga rig it just to crank it.
because I am using my front camera, which I don't like to do, but I'm in the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, and I'm looking for, I had to get some chemicals, as y'all can see, because my daughter, she caught some type of something from being, from us being out and about, so I'm basically looking for some, um, chemicals and stuff, and I'm trying to hurry up because I gotta go pick my husband up at, um, 4, at 5.45, and that's in, like, 15 minutes, and y'all, let me show y'all what the Dollar Tree have. Dollar Tree have everything, y'all, and then it's a dollar twenty-five. I was gonna say that they need to start calling themselves like more than a dollar instead of calling themselves a dollar tree because, girl, it's not a dollar in here. It's like more than a dollar. It's actually a dollar twenty-five for a lot of stuff, or a dollar fifty for a lot of stuff. So, Dollar Tree, y'all need to call yourselves more than a dollar, not a dollar twenty-five. Um, this is Fabuloso, y'all. Fabuloso for a dollar twenty-five. I'm about to get this so I can be able to clean and get some. Um, I'm probably gonna get one bleach and then this Fabuloso, and that's what I'm gonna use because they even have Mrs. Myers in here. Let me show y'all. They have Mrs. Myers. This is Mrs. Myers is five dollars. That's why I said it should be called more than a dollar more than a dollar tree not a dollar and then yeah they just got a lot of stuff in here so let me grab a basket real quick because this stuff is slipping out my damn hand and i'll see y'all in just a second bird which is the white one keeps raping my male bird oh what the like he she is raping him like he does not want her do you see what's going on my god look how aggressive she's being so y'all, I did not end this vlog properly, but as I was saying before, as one of my 2024 um, resolutions in a sense, I guess on my vision board that I wanted to start back reading more and what better way to start than reading the Bible. So um, I wanted to get on my spiritual kick and I wanted to start back reading more. So before I went to bed this night, I just picked up my Bible and this was my first day starting reading it. Normally when I used to read my Bible, it was because I was either being forced to do it like by, you know, because I grew up in a household of Christians and religion and stuff like that, but it was never because I actually picked my Bible up and read it for myself. So I decided to do that tonight. So that's what you see me doing right here, just starting from Genesis and I'm just going to work my way through until I actually read my entire Bible, no matter how long it takes. Um, I'm not trying to make this about religion or anything like that, but I am on a journey to basically get closer to God and just get myself together, get my life in order. 
and you know just i just wanted to share this with you guys just in case anybody else you know was looking to do the same thing it's not as hard as i thought it was going to be it's actually a lot easier for me to read the bible on my own accord and just you know come close to god by myself so that's what i just wanted to share with you guys so i'm sorry i did not end this vlog properly but this is basically what i did for the rest of the night and after i pretty much finished reading my bible and my scriptures i went to bed so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and yeah, hopefully you all can draw closer to God if that's what you're into and we'll be on this journey together. So yep, I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like as usual. And yep, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all. It's all because of you